Hello, this is uh, Buckeye Gordon, and I want to talk about a, a, a time in our country that had some iconic moments, saw a revolution, and a lot of us were uh, able to, uh, to witness a lot of these incredible feats in our human achievement that would also go on to define our lives to this very day. Some of the uh, uh, favorites, interesting facts about the 1960s, first, uh, when you talk about the 1960s, you have to start off with uh, the moon landing. Uh, this was without a doubt near at the top of every list of facts about the 1960s. On July 20th, 1969, the human race defied the odds by stepping foot on the moon. The honor of being the first one, of course, goes to Neil Armstrong. And he uh, marked this momentum occasion. Remember what his famous line was? That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I remember that day just like it was um, like it was yesterday, I was 14 years old. And I went outside, it was towards the evening. And I got into like the the, uh, the guy next door to us. He was older man, he, he had a couple of kids. And we looked up at the moon and said, wow, just imagine there's Americans up here on the moon. Um, Hollywood starts a, a tradition. However, it feels like it's been a part of Hollywood ever since it began. The famous stars on Hollywood Walk of Fame were actually there, uh, uh, actually weren't there until the 1960s. Can you remember the, I'll give you a hint, the actress, the first actress that had her name put on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. If you know who it is, comment below. I won't tell you, but comment below on who the first actress was, had her name put on um, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Here's my favorite, the Flintstones debuted. Probably one of the most recognized kids cartoon of all times, the Flintstones debuted during the 1960s, the Hanna-Barbera production became the second most successful long-running cartoon series in television history behind only The Simpsons. Um, in sports, Roger Maris broke uh, Babe Ruth home run record. Babe Ruth had 60 home runs in a season. And this seemed like really a, a impossible goal to, to, to break that. But on the, he hit his uh, 61st home run the final season of 1961, uh, the final game of the season 1961, Roger Maris hits a home run, number 61, and it broke Babe Ruth's record. How about Julia's Childs? Remember her? Yeah, she became a household name. The culinary world would never be the same after this 1960 fun fact a decade saw Julia Child published her now legendary cookbook, Mastering the Art of French Cooking. It became the bestseller 
for the next five years and help Childs establish herself as a culinary icon. Uh, she also had her own TV show in 1962. You remember that? The French Chef. We used to always watch it when I was growing up. We kind of liked it. There were some uh, very sad news. Um, President Kennedy was assassinated. Um, maybe the most well-known 1960 historic fact is the assassination of President John F. Kennedy by Lee Harvey Oswald. On November 22, 1963, just three years earlier, John F. Kennedy won the presidential election against Richard Nixon, and he holds the distinction of being the youngest person ever elected to be the president of the United States. Martin Luther King delivered his famous speech, one of the most significant historical moments of the 1960 was Martin Luther King Jr. speaking before a crowd of 250,000 on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial on August 28, 1963. That speech known as I Have a Dream speech marked a turning point in the Civil Rights Movement. Here in, uh, here in America. It's one of the most iconic speeches in American history. The Beatles arrive. Beatlemania, you remember? The, oh my gosh, on the Ed Sullivan Show. February 9th, 1964. The Beatles perform before a U.S. audience on the Ed Sullivan Show. We used to watch Ed Sullivan Show all the time but they pulled an incredible 75 million viewers. Roughly three-fourths of the total audience in American at that time. You imagine that? Three-fourths of Americans. Three-fourths watched the Beatles. How about Cassius Clay beating Sonny Liston to become the world champion? February 25th, 1964, when Cassius Clay defeated Sonny Liston and became the heavyweight champion of the world. Less than a month, Clay would rename himself Muhammad Ali. Woodstock. It was held 40 miles southwest of Woodstock on Marsh. Max Yarger's Dairy Farm in Bethel, New York. Woodstock Rock Festival on uh, August 15th through the 18th, 1969, brought together more than 400,000 fans to hear some of the rock music ever played and to enjoy three days of peace and music. I was thinking... Uh, about um, the music of the 1960s. And um, I just want to share some of the, the music, the people that, that sung that I loved during the 1960s. First and foremost, of course, the Beatles. Uh, the Kinks, you remember them? Jimi Hendrix. How can you talk about the music of 1960 without talking about Jimi Hendrix? I still go on YouTube and watch videos of him. The Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones. The Doors, who remembers the Doors? The Beach Boys, boy. They've had some really good music. The two I like uh, that they did uh, was, first one was Darling In My Room was the other one. I like those two. Pink Floyd, another good artist. Creighton's Clearwater Revival, CCR. When I was in South Korea, I wasn't allowed to bring any of my 
music, but you could buy remanufactured uh, albums, and that was one of the ones I had. The Who, you remember The Who? I seen them in concert once. Grateful Dead, wow. That brings back a lot of memories. But I just wanted to um, talk about the 1960s a little bit. What's your favorite of the 1960s? Was it the moon landing? Martin Luther King's junior speech? If you would, put it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I want to thank each and every one of you who takes the time to listen to me, good or bad, it doesn't matter. The fact that you do it, I'm very appreciative. I would love to hear from you. So subscribe, like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good day.